Hello everybody, it's Tom from the Corona team and we are all on the team super happy to be delivering Corona 12. Uh, we hope you will like it and we really look forward to seeing what you create using it. Uh, so what is this video? Well, I'd like to give you a very quick fly through of the major new features in Corona 12. Um, it will be quick, this is not a tutorial, but don't you worry, we have our feature video and tutorial videos coming out um, over the next few weeks where we will dive into much more detail on each of these features. Uh, we have our blog post where we have written out everything in great detail uh, and we have our upcoming webinar too as of the time of recording this video it's upcoming. Uh, if you are watching this at any point in time in the future um, that video will have been recorded and will be available on YouTube. So yes if you want a deep dive into these features um, we'll be more than happy to do that for you. But for now, let's have a very quick look through the major features in Corona 12. Export to Chaos Vantage is the most anticipated feature in Corona 12. You can either just fire up Vantage or save the scene so you can bundle it and send it elsewhere. Vantage is ideal for exploring your scene in real time as seen here, which can give you a whole fresh perspective on your scene. It's also great for quick test preview renders. In Corona 13 we'll add Live Link that lets you export animations from Max and Cinema 4D, but in the meantime you'll find that Vantage is perfectly capable of creating animations for you with its own set of animation tools and functionality. And I'm just going to interrupt myself here to say we have some Super cool uh, content that uh, has been user created using Corona and Vantage. Um, I can't share that with you here in this video at the time of recording the video. But don't worry, you'll see it soon enough. Be sure to come along to the webinar if you want the first glimpse. Uh, I'm sure you'll be as blown away as I was. The VFB has had a huge overhaul, turning it into the VFB2. Uh, this brings a whole new look to it uh, and also has some new features. For example, you can now have multiple light mixes, each one can have its own setup. This lets you say throw a day and night and noon light mixes inside the scene, uh, and whereas previously you'd have to save those as separate .config files and then load them back in, now you'll find everything neatly self-contained, and of course, whatever adjustments you make in one light mix will not affect any of your others. There's also improvements to uh, AB in history. Uh, the AB comparison can now compare images of different sizes, even of different aspect ratios if you want. Your decals can now be curved. Uh, here's an illustration of uh, what this means. Basically, you can wrap it around the cylinder very easily, ideal for labels on bottles and similar. But uh, also, you can bend it a full 360 degrees if you like. This pattern was created with a decal just wrapped around the whole cylinder. However, more than that, you can bend in two axes. This lets you create decals wrapped around uh, donuts, tourises, to I should say, uh, or spheres. Corona 12 brings two improvements to the procedural sky. The first is a better dawn twilight. The sun can go lower below the horizon, creating uh, absolute perfect dark. Uh, and also you can adjust the cloud density. So you can make your clouds go from invisible or wispy all the way through to heavy and thunderous. For 3ds Max, for now, we're introducing the Scatter Instance Brush. This lets you refine your existing procedural scatter uh, using an Arrays or an Add Brush. You can add instances that either follow scattering rules, such as altitude, slope, and uh, spline includes, excludes, or uh, add ones that don't follow the rules. It's up to you. You can also choose custom colors to represent each, so you can easily see what kind of instances you're looking at. I just want to drop in for our Cinema 4D users. Uh, apologies that this wasn't ready in time, but we will be working on the Scatter Instance Brush and indeed all forms of Scatter Instancing for Cinema 4D, and we'll get that to you as soon as we can. Corona Pattern also comes with two improvements. Now, I don't know about you, but I've always found it quite hard to get the crop box the right size to cut out my pattern without any holes, gaps, glitches, etc. Um, so, to resolve that, we introduced the ability to use a helper object to define the crop box. 
This lets you use vertex editing, snapping, other tools that you can use in geometry editing, so you can define the precise crop box that you want. This means you can get exactly the results you require. And the second improvement is you can now define whether any map uh, should use the base object or the pattern object for its UV mapping, as shown here. Uh, previously, you could only choose one or the other for all maps. Now, you can choose which one should apply for each different map. This lets you create uh, a much better range of effects in terms of mapping your pattern materials. And that's it. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. I know it's been super quick, but as I say, we'll be doing deep dives in features videos, tutorial videos, the webinar, the blog post. So um, plenty of opportunity for us to uh, tell you more about these tools as we go on. Um, we hope you enjoy Kona 12. We really look forward to seeing what you create with it. Do um, share your creations and um, we'll see you next time.